Hi gang, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at wall art and artist Thierry Noir. Noir is credited to be one of the first artists to paint on the Berlin Wall. His pieces are bold, bright and fun. And we're going to be using his style to help us recreate some Egyptian wall art. So for this lesson you'll need a pen, a pencil and some felt tip pens or pencil crayons. All right, we're gonna be drawing two faces today, so we need to divide our page in half. So just draw a faint line down the middle. Then we're gonna start with the ferret on the right. So we're gonna draw a curved line from the top that curves in, and then back out to form the nose. Underneath that, we're gonna do a straight line to form the mouth. So a sharp angle in, like an L and then we're going to add two rectangles for the teeth. Then from the teeth we're going to come down slightly in for his chin. I'm going to go back to the top. Here we're going to do a small curve round and then we're going to do a big curve from there around the top of his head and back down. And as I come down towards the bottom, I'm going to curve it in slightly. And then back out to the side. So from his chin, I'm going to draw his neck and then come back out for his shoulder. Then we're going to put the top line of his headdress in. And then we're going to bring that down just to stop where his ear will be. From there I'm going to curve in, so it's like another L. And then we're going to go around his ear. So like a curly cuff, C shape, and then from there we're going to curve it back down to the bottom. So straight down, and then we're going to curve it in slightly, and then meet the other points. Then we're just going to put another C shape in there for his ear. We're putting an eye shape now. It's a bit like a fish. <laughs> Coming out in a straight line down, and then inside that shape, we're going to add a little triangle. And then we can add his pupil in the middle. Last thing on his face to add is his eyebrow. So it's kind of like a little curvy line that I'm just going to thicken at that end. The Egyptians wore eyeliner every day and they called it coal and they believed it protected them from sickness. And on the headdress we're just going to add lots of straight lines. On his shoulder we're going to add a curve line, this is his collar, and then down from there just some more straight lines coming down from the curve line to the bottom curve line. Then when we've done that, we're going to move on to the next one. So I'm going to start with a slightly curve down that forms her nose. So coming back inwards. Then we're going to do the top of her lip. So just curve. 
curving round and meeting that point and then we're going to do another shape underneath for her bottom lip. Then a straight line in line with that line coming down and then curve in for her chin. Then we're going to curve that down for her neck. And then we're going to pop in her shoulder. So just coming straight back out, curving round and down. So the headdress she's wearing, we're going to do a straight line across. And then we're going to put curve that down. Straight line across. So this is the top of her headdress. And then we're just going to meet these two lines up. Then we're going to curve the top of her headdress round and down to meet the top of her head. We're going to add in her ear, which is roughly in line with her nose. Put that C shape in again. Now the next part of her headdress comes down from the ear at a diagonal and just below the shoulder we are going to stop. So straight line. Then we're going to add another straight line down, so almost like an upside down V here. So this straight line we're going to put in is going to go from the ear to the top of the headdress. And we want to make sure it passes that corner, that point from the bottom of the headdress. Now the next shape is going to follow that line down and then we're going to curve it in towards the edge of the headdress. So I'm just going to extend that line at the top and then we're going to bring a similar shape down, following it straight down and then we're going to curve it in to meet that line at the bottom. So line down and then a line across to meet the bottom of the headdress. And then we're just going to curve it round for the back. So follow that line round and then we want to imagine it's following this line up. So I can't fit it on but if you have space then it will look like this. And then for her eye we're going to do a straight line. And then we're going to curve it round underneath. Add the pupil in the middle. And then her eyebrow that curves round over the top. Add her shoulder in here, so just a curve round and down. Curve that line round, follow that shape around. And then we're going to just put some lines down to connect those. And then some straight lines down this bit.
And there you go, your Egyptian wall art in the style of Thierry Noir. Last thing to do is go over and pen, then choose some nice bright colours to colour it in.